What is up, beautiful people? It's Siladin here, back in the lane. We're playing dual lane, accompanied here by Capri. Relics are on point. I like the build. Don't like the mana pot, but it's alright. We're playing against what looks like a Chernobog, so that makes Ulr, I guess, solo. Maybe jungle. Maybe Sobek ain't solo. Oh wait, so because right in front of me, I'm an idiot. So we're obviously getting out pressured here. Hitting all the minions that we can. We're gonna look into our purple. That's his clear. Not gonna hit the second time. Popped one potion. Double potting this. It's alright, they're going for me. He's tanking a lot of wave here. Incredible. I wanted to hit Sobek with this. Careful left. Ouch. So, our jungle, I guess, is getting home there. That's their sprint. Double potting again. They cannot really fight me here. We have like anything? Retreat. Oh, I'm so dead. Retreat. Okay. Oh, that wasn't right. Nice job. Well, we cannot go for their purple, unfortunately, with this. Go for a bubble. I'm way too poked to have to go for their purple, so we're gonna release the pressure here. Enemy Enemy Be uh. Gonna push another wave. Be careful. We push another wave and we're back. Ah, oh, they're actually standing there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they're zoning us very good. That is unfortunate. I have enough mana for that. Can you like grab him and everything? Oh, he did that right on time. What are you doing, boy? Well, I got him anyway. This is better for our lane for me. Well, jungler just got a kill, but still, I killed the enemy ADC. We're dead even with the enemy Chernabog, which is unfortunate. You really need to stop pushing this.
they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I feel like I missed both of them. You serve me well. Your middle tower is under attack. You should be on us. You should be dead. We can kill here. Retreat! The sky falls. Your right tower is under attack. Let's stall the lane here. Gank right lane! Gank falling back! Wait. Okay. What have you done? That's unfortunate, they're gonna probably take our purple off of that. But we missed no minions off of the lane, which is good enough for me. Gonna ward up here. For purple now. Your right tower is under attack. Good enough. Well, I'm pretty dead. Well, there are obviously four people in the left lane. Hopefully something's gonna happen. So what happened is that we lost Gold Fury. Uh, Poseidon took the speed and died in mid for free. Which is quite expected to be honest. Judging by his previous gameplay. Did I just pop the potion? should notice that this guy is really cocky for no reason, which means that I'm getting ganked. It happened twice now.
can really do stuff with our minions, you know, but we're definitely gonna try. Those fucking legs. What is coming this way? That damage is not through the roof at all. Third of my health with just one skill. He is level 15, which is quite expected to be honest at this point. Let's get their purple, hopefully. Maybe not. Let's maybe get some oracles, I guess. Is rotating there. You will be avenged, friend. I'll attack left lane. I guess we're pushing down this tower. Nothing else to do. An ally has been slain. Oh no. Well, this game just took a bad turn for us. <laughs> Be careful left. Okay. I'll defend. Enemy Your missing. Damn. Enemy missing left. I'd expect it to be honest. Okay. Your middle tower be careful, is mid enemies attack. in the left lane. Wait, he's out of mana. Can I bait? Enemy missing right. Be careful, middle. Let me start. Well, that will delay his back. Retreat left lane. But if I don't back immediately, he's about to ult me. Complete now they will learn to obey me. Your middle tower. Well, this is why you ban ban Chernabug, I guess. Your middle tower is under Yo, that burst. Well, this doesn't look good for us. <laughs> but I guess we're struggling until our last heartbeat. Good stuff. My dot gave him away. And we were able to kill him. Have fun. Damn that damage! He's three levels ahead of me, which is expected. Enemy ultimate. That was savage. On the killing spree, are we? That makes me sad. Double kill.
was decent. You serve me well. That was a really good fight for us. Holy shit. on him but he's probably doing the goal he should be doing the goal at least oh he was doing the portal which is also a smart move okay completed what have you done me wait we need a little bit more gold what have you done Let's push out, I guess. Never mind. I guess we can try and take the Call of Fury, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. They might go for it, yeah. Enemies reported! Completed. Completed. That was savage! Well, if I landed that dash, it would have been good. I would have got him one-on-one, -on -one and we would have been able to survive that. But now that Nemesis also died, I'm not really even sure to what. It's gonna be a GG for us. Your middle phoenix is under attack. To be honest with you, this game doesn't look good for us. Enemies incoming. Yes. The jungle. Retreat, retreat, retreat. That's a good bait for me. That's a bad ult on the Sobic of all things. I catch him actually. Oh, oh, hello. I don't think they can catch me. Oh, no, they can. Retreat. All right, we're still living. Not bad. We baited Colin. Yes. Well, they obviously on the fire channel. What the hell else should they be? Okay. Retreat. Ward here. In the middle lane, that wasn't a bad ult.
gotta kill somebody else. Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> that was a fucking mantle. Oh, for days, man. Yes. I was still here, let's not forget about that. So I should try and bait Al. Holy shit, man. Oh, god damn it. That's Ulr. He hits like a fucking truck. Well, honestly, this looks a little bit better now. <laughs> we want a major team fight. Okay. I guess I'll push out left. Get some gold there. Guess we're gonna push another wave. I will walk. <laughs> Completed. This might be a crucial fight over here, so I will purchase a pur purple, not a purple, a red pot, and try to do as much as I can. Red pot is really good in uh, Medusa because she gives um, that physical power into her skills, which she uses a lot. So yeah, hopefully. I'm gonna be able to win this fight. Enemies in the middle lane. Enemies in the left lane. fire giant. Enemies in the left lane. Yes, they're just giving up fire. Yep. Enemy ultimate down. That was savage. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be the fight for us. We got Al Kong. Damn it. This is a lost game. Yeah, they're going straight for the Titan. And Poseidon is ulting the wrong people. Okay. Enemies, Attack the, 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 the Smell. 
we can actually try and end here. Oh my god, we actually won this. <laughs> Damn it, I can't believe we won this. That was a roller coaster. So a super quick summary of the game. Me as a Medusa, I prefer to go into trans build. Uh, you obviously uh, finishing off your warrior tabby. Then I go into blood forge and uh, I try to double crit with as much power as I can because Medusa scalings are so awesome. Uh, Malice is really good for her to use that and I felt like Kinsei's is the way to go even though usually you don't go with the crit and the kids because uh, Kukulan and Sobic were really exploitable, they were putting themselves out there and as soon as I was able to do enough damage to them the fights were going in our favor every time. So that worked pretty well with, uh, for us in the end. Chernobog, decent gameplay, even though I outplayed him in the lane, he was constantly rotating with his ult, which is expected, which is why you ban Chernobog, and he goes into early crit, triple crit, I is basically not viable, he has no pen, so Nemesis, Amateras, so even Kepri is able to dish out a lot of damage on him, because, yeah, a lot of crit works, but not as good without the penetration. Ao Kuang, a basic, like, rank stomp in uh, middle elo, rank games like the one th this one was just really brainless god nowadays i don't personally play him i don't like the style i don't like to be effective for no fucking reason whatsoever compare that to our nemesis who is doing absolutely amazing job all over this guy was ganking our lane constantly controlling just seeing the uh, the enemy out of position the enemy Chernobyl being out of position killing Sobe ki killing Alquan as well Uller was under the pressure but because it's Uller he was always able to escape just good gameplay great gameplay overall Poseidon uh, garbage guy garbage character picks Poseidon into Alquan overall garbage build is somewhat decent but it might have been better Uller in the mid on the contrary, build is completely on point, all the items that Uller need was dishing out extreme amounts of damage, not sure about the Hydras, but I guess the stun into auto attack really works for him. And he was just looking for immediate extreme burst, which when he whiffs one, I was able to box him even being three levels behind. So yeah, pretty risky, but like full risk, full reward build. Sobek, good build, good actives, gameplay was nice until I decided to build against the tanks. Kukulin, same thing, everything's on point, relics are on point. Well, except for maybe Blink actually, they have two Blinks and uh, Kukulin, if he had actually Thorns, he would have been able to shut down a lot from Nemesis. But yeah, maybe he just decided to go Blink because I was in such a danger and that allowed me to completely obliterate him in the late game. So I guess I'll take that. Ammo. Build is weird, but mostly on point as I can see it. It was just not doing uh, damage, more focusing on the CC and survivability, and just returning with the hide and immune because they had two ADCs. That works pretty well. Capri gameplay was decent, but missed a lot of ultimates. Didn't ult in that last fight that almost cost us the game. But the build and items are on point. I guess we'll take that. If we were to look at the numbers, pretty straightforward. Nemesis dishing out crazy amount of damage. I'm actually third in the match after the Ulr and Nemesis, which just shows that I was doing a good job even though I was exploded quite a few times here and there. I won my lane, but the ganks of Chernobyl, you just can't beat them. When he walls from the dual lane into solo lane, there is no reason for you to follow, the best you can hope for maybe take a tower. Poseidon was doing fuck all, this Ulr completely obliterated him, it's 15k on top. I am sitting on top of the Chernobyl with 6k. Uh, solo laners, like I said, Amma is not looking for damage in this game at all. So she goes 10k below, but her impact was somewhat comparable. Nemesis, 46k, <laughs> way over that. Alkong, who was actually doing a rather decent job, he's sitting 21k on top of him, which is 
completely bizarre at this point. 36 minutes into the game, holy shit. And yes, of course, as negligible as it is, Tobik still dish out a quite significant amount of damage, while Kepri, as expected, won't. It's not a high damage support, if you don't know how to use ultimate, you better play some other support, like I do, for example. <laughs> and yeah. This will be a Medusa game in dual lane, hopefully you guys enjoyed some ranked action again. Yeah, Medusa, really strong, like her a lot, play her or Hachiman usually in the dual lane if I pick up an ADC. So hopefully you guys will learn something off of this video and if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, leave a like, as always, subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day, I will see you in the next video.